Pontiac 6000. This car has probably been in the river at least 25 years. Welcome back to Adventure of the Purpose, where Sam, Sam, I yeah. think we've already got four or five vehicles. We have three more I think we're getting today. There's a Crazy. total of 17 or 20 in this location. I don't even know. And as I always say, this is one episode you're not going to want to miss. day three of looking for Bill Simmons and part of this is not the entire crew is going to be looking for Bill today. You know, we came with the mission to get out these cars across the river here where the 17 cars are at. We also have Team Waters is working out with Bryson right now. So if you have not already, stop this video. Go check out both of the other two videos. Either if you're on YouTube, I'll put them both right there. If you're on Facebook or you just need the direct links, they're in the description down below. Yeah. We're going to be going live today as well, so if you've not checked that out, we'll put that link here as well. That's going to be to a four or five hour live stream that we have going today that we're just going to let this thing run. So if you guys want any screen time in front of the live, feel free to jump in front of it. Shout out your channel, shout out your names, and we are here to promote and help out one another. So do it. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Here we found out yesterday there's a whole bunch of cars right there. Well, we, we knew that for a while. But. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. We actually put eyes on them. We were here yeah, yeah. with the underwater drone cruising around. We were able to like see, see them. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of those cars, you know, they look pretty mangled and like maybe they might not be able to pull up. So Anthony and I, we're actually going to go down first. We're going to go down, see what can be pulled. We're going to hook mm -hmm. one up. So we'll be back there. What, what was the vehicle like that you, you got us hooked up to? Well, it's, it's a little car. There's like these, there's like these, what looks like gills. Vents, vents on the side. Yeah, vents yeah. on the side. So where I'm at right now, there's actually three vehicles okay. in that area. I think the pulling out the, the one I just described would probably be the best. Get that out of the way first. And you already have your car rigged yeah, yeah, up yeah, and ready to go. Mine's rigged, ready to hook. I'm around the axles, J hooks. That's all set. There's a buoy attached to the line underwater. It's weighted down from the pressure of the line. So once we see the buoy come up, the car is going to be right behind it as we pull it up. Now we're going to take the second line out and get it attached to the second car. We're going to pull both cars at the same time. We might only have an axle. Yeah, there's no car there. Hey Sam, yeah. you notice Brock's didn't come loose? I noticed that. You see it there? Are you standing on it? How come you didn't see it up, Jared? This is going too slow and I feel really bad that uh, we're taking advantage of Dad's towing. Mm -hmm. And it threw no fault of anybody's, you know, but I just know that bam, 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 bam. I'm, I'm gonna take like five in the next 30 minutes. Okay, maybe like an hour and 20, but <laughs> we're gonna get this thing going. All right, sounds good. Yeah. All right, is this the car? Rock is there, rock is there. Oh, wait a minute. This is a car, a car full of rocks. So we're not getting this one. So let's move over more. Oh, something on the right here. Oh, look at that. Found the car. Upside down. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful pull on this one. We'll come to the far side over here. Since we're working with the axle, we're going to use the chain to hook to the axle. Now we're going to get another five foot chain and bring them together. So now, just for kicks while we're here, I'll see if I can identify another vehicle. That way I don't have to go looking for another one. There it is. Okay, look at that. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, the, oh, I think we have a Jeep. 
Oh yeah, it's a Jeep! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, so how am I gonna hook this one up? You know the great thing about Jeeps? Look at that, right around the frame up here. I can get to those wheels. All right, so I know that the river's going that way. I know where my other car's at. And now we're just gonna come straight back to shore. Let's see what's coming out here. Pontiac 6000. I think this car has probably been in the river at least 25 years. All right, let me have both chains. Get us both, thank you. All right, there's the Jeep. On the axle is where I want to go. And one side done. All right, now we're gonna work on the upstream side. I know I'm gonna fill this up. We're gonna do this by fill for the most part. All right, there we go. Now we're bringing the chain back over here. Feed it in here. And that is now ready to go right there. Okay, now we're gonna follow that back up. And then let's go hook up the second side of that car. All right, my hands are going through. That one is on there. Now, let's see if we can bring the two of them together by chance. At the middle with the shackle. I just want to bring these two together. Oh, so, so close. I think it might reach. Oh, look at that, just barely. Great. All right, that's all ready. Uh, we're just gonna pull them right up the side. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pull them right up the side. It's a pre-96 Jeep Wrangler. Probably the four-cylinder. I can tell um, just by looking at the engine bay that it's probably a four-cylinder. It's five-speed. We have a four car pileup that I'm working on right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And so this one's on the farthest one. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do when I go down, I head down with one chain only first with a shackle and a line. Once I get down and I hook it to where I want on that vehicle for one of the axles, I then kind of look around the area because I know that if I use that as a guide and I come back to that car, where are other cars at? We're heading down with a new setup. We're gonna pull the car that's closest to this entire little group right now. Okay, coming up to this one uh, now. So that's the first car we run into. So, we should probably just pull this one then. I'm gonna bring this chain up over here. Down around the axle. And perfect. All right, there's one. Now, can I get the second one around this side by chance? Let's move some of this metal. Okay, looks like I can get away around the second frame here. Bring it down here. That's exactly what I want. Do it, do it. Pull it. I'll just go up. Alrighty. Uh, 
Now that. Here. There we go. It's been a long day, Jared. <laughs> it's been a good day. We I don't like even it. see each other. I know. It's good to see you, Dan. <laughs> good to see you. Let's uh, go get these last two cars together, huh? Yeah. Sounds amazing. Maybe we'll be able to pull that other car up at the same time. Today has been a super long day, so I want to give a shout out to today's episode sponsor because I am looking forward to getting back to the Opryland Hotel Resort. With that, they have actually dedicated a block of rooms to all the divers that have been here in town working in Nashville, helping to clean the environment and look for Bill Simmons. This is, I'm going to say, one of the very best hotels that I have ever stayed at in my entire life. I'm sleeping with my balcony doors open, the waterfall is going, the food is good, the pools are good, the spas are good. This is one place that you definitely want to bring your family. We could not have been doing this episode and this trip without them, so thank you. Link is in the description. Now, some of you may have been skipping around this episode, and I don't know why you would have. However, if you did, let me bring you up to speed as to what's going on. We've got Brock and Shane in here because there's half a car under there that they're trying to chain up right now. And then we have the other car that's kind of been pushed into it, and we're trying to bring that up. And then we have one more, which, which is gonna be the last pull of the day, is down there, about 120 feet or so. It's been an incredible day. Come back for that one tomorrow. Yeah, I think so too. So we'll get that one tonight and the other one tonight.
I gotta say that that was an incredible day. We could not have done it without everybody that came out today. I've lost track of everybody. We've given them shout outs throughout the day from Nit to, from not, not Nit, from Nug to Brit to Sam Sam the Adventure Man to Shane with Project Clean River to, uh, I don't know, it's just like mind boggling. Everybody's come out, everybody that has come out to help today, including Dad's Tony, who we could not have done it without them. So make sure that you do check them out and use them if you are anywhere in the Nashville area. On that note, this is only the first day of the big pool. So you have, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do so and turn on that bell notification because the next video should be coming out like right away. You get how this works. We'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you. Later, later. Bye-bye.